Hi guys, I'm just going to take you through my setup with um, the Roland MX-1 Mixed Performer, um, the TR-8 drum machine, the TB-3 bass line, the Waldorf Blofeld synthesizer, and um, controlling all of this kind of stuff via Push 2 and Ableton Live. So um, I guess first things first, I'll take you through uh, the preferences setup. Um, so basically in audio, I've got my uh, input device as the MX-1, output as MX-1. And this is how you have to set it up um, to work properly with the MX-1. Um, so mono 1 and 2, 3 and 4 um, are checked, and also all of the stereo channels. And that's on the input, and the same again for the output. So 1, 2, 3 and 4 mono, and uh, 1 through 18. Uh, checked for the output um, MIDI I've got the um, MX1 as the input and the output um, I've got push to and um, you can see here uh, I've got all of the outputs set and all of the inputs set apart from that one for some reason can't remember why but it works but anyway that's kind of what you need to do there are other videos available regards um, setting it up but that's just a quick recap so I'm using this um, remote device which encompasses an Ableton external instrument and I found this via a link on um, create digital magazine and I'll see if I can put a link in the description for you because it's quite useful. Um, there is one small thing with it though which I haven't managed to figure out and that is that one of these channels, I mean these are all just controlling the TR8 so they're not actually doing anything audio wise apart from you have to have something set to the MX1's audio channel. So if I go through these, these are all, you'll notice here, these are all no input, there's no, there's no audio on these. But to get it to sound, you need something set to 9 and 10, which is USB 1 uh, on the MX1, and that's for the TR8. Um, so I'm not quite sure why, but essentially these are all um, for each of the uh, channels on the TR8, and then you've got the swing and accent and the FX. Um, actually, that looks like it's not... It's not working let's see if we can no that's the wrong one anyway let's undo that uh, okay it's, that's working again okay I don't know what's going on there but essentially you don't really need to I mean, you can do you know you can you can change you can change all the controls on on the box itself on the TR8 itself so um, yeah, so I've got I've got a mini clip triggering the TR8, um, and if I just play through that, I'll solo that. Um, bring the fader up on the MX1. Um, so that's triggering the whole the whole uh, of the uh, the kit on the TR8. Um, but if I want to mute any of the channels, um, obviously I can just pull the fader down. So bass drums out. Clap, rim shot, back in. Okay, so that's how that's working. Okay, just stop that clip. Um, same for the TB3. Again, um, the uh, the remote script. Actually, let's see if we can just. Yeah, look, that's better. Um, the remote script is doing the same thing. Um, this is uh, doing the MIDI to MX1 USB 3 on channel 1. And obviously, you can set the MIDI channel um, going in under the hood and again, Google that for the TR8, the TB3, System 1, whatever, uh, under the hood settings. You can change numerous parameters, you can change the MIDI channel so you're not, you know, you're not clashing. And I've got audio from 13 and 14, which is USB 3 on the MX1. Uh, and that's one of the uh, 
USB ports that powers the uh, powers the kit. So the USB the, uh, the TB3 can be powered via USB via the MX1, so you don't need a power supply, which is quite useful. And uh, yeah, and it's carrying audio as well, which is great. So it cuts down on audio cables. So again, I've got a mini clip triggering the TB3. So let's just solo that. Bit of that, bring it up on the MX1. And I can still still play around with the cutoff, um, accent, effect on the TB3 itself. But also I can do it on here as well. So I can this is actually mapped to push two. So I'm actually controlling that via push two instead of the TB3 itself, which is quite useful. And then I'm back over here, tweaking it on the TB3 itself. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, so I've got a pad thing going on there, which is just uh, an M1 um, plug-in, Korg M1 plug-in via, um, you know, just via Ableton itself. Uh, and that's on, what channel is that on? So 17 and 18, which is the PC channel. So... <laughs> So I've got um, some audio recorded from the Blofeld, which is going out on 17, 18 as well. You can just kind of hear that in the background. And I can fade that in and out on the PC channel on the MS1. Um, so again, just stop that for a moment. Again, the Blofeld, I'm just using um, the external instrument plugin from Ableton. Um, yeah, actually, I'm, get, I'm sending the MIDI from the MX1. So this is quite complicated. So the Push 2 is actually sending MIDI to the MX1. And the MX1 is sending MIDI to the put to the Blofeld. Okay, so I'm actually hitting keys on the push two, hitting pads rather. And that's uh, going out via five and six, which is the stereo channel. So I've got like a, I've got a stereo um, audio cable from the Low felt left and right into uh, a 3.5 jack into the 5 and 6 channel, which is a stereo channel on the MX1. Apologies if I'm repeating myself and apologies for my voice. I've got a really bad cold. Um, so that's the reason why I sound like Barry White. So that's sending um, MIDI to the blow felt, and obviously I can change the parameters on the blow felt. And I guess I could I could I could map macros as well to to push to actually control um, the blowfell in the same way that I can control the the TB3 here. I mean this is just this is just like a remote script um, that someone's created, but it is really useful. But yeah, so I mean you know we could insert a MIDI clip and um, get it all playing. <laughs> Cause something in. Try that again. So, you know, just, just something to, to put in. I 
And obviously I can now start to mess around with that on the MX-1. Bit of flange. Anyway, that's pretty much um, that's pretty much it. But yeah, if you've got any questions? Just leave them in the comments, and I'll try and put some links up to the uh, remote stuff. Um, yeah, that's how I do it, and um, build up set encompassing the hardware uh, obviously record it back in on a separate channel um, and, uh, and add stuff from Ableton as well so it's, it's pretty decent anyway thanks for watching and see you soon cheers